The new call screening feature in iOS 26 is an interesting feature that every telephone user will be excited to try out. What it does is that when an unsaved or unknown number calls your line on your iOS 26 enabled iPhone, the phone sends a message to that person asking them to identify themselves and to state why they are calling. And it is only when that unknown caller has responded to that, that the phone rings out for you to respond to. It sounds like a great way to screen bots and automated systems that are set up to intrude on your privacy and on your time. So how do you turn it on and off? Go to your telephone app on your iPhone. Tap on this in that top corner there and tap on manage filtering. And your phone brings you to this section called call filtering. Toggle this on, unknown callers. Missed calls and voicemail from unknown numbers will be silenced and move to the unknown callers list. That's the first step. If you scroll up here, you'd see a section called screen unknown callers. And there are three options. The first option is never. Under this, calls from unsaved numbers will ring and missed calls will be displayed on the recent list. That's a standard process. So if you tap that and the check mark appears there, that's the option you have selected. The second option is ask reason for calling. Calls from unsaved numbers will be asked for more information before your iPhone rings. Calling and data rates may apply. Now, that's what you want to set. If you remember the description I gave at the beginning of this video. The third option, silence. Calls from unsaved numbers will be silenced, sent to voicemail and displayed on the recent list. Calling and data rates may apply. You can pick that too if you really don't want to pick calls from unknown callers at all. But for example, we all know that sometimes someone in an emergency may not have access to their regular phone uh, number phone line and use a third party phone line to call you. For that reason, this new feature that allows you to set your phone to ask the caller for the reason they are calling sounds like a good option to take care of that instead of just silencing all unknown callers. Now you can stay undisturbed while at the same time be able to screen problematic calls away. So ask reason for calling. That's the option we're picking. And once you're done, you can move away from the settings app and the phone app, and you're ready for it. In summary, selecting Ask Reason for Calling turns on that new call screening feature, and selecting Never or Silence turns it off. If you select Never or Silence, this call screening feature is turned off. If you select Ask Reason for Calling, then it is turned on because this is the new call screening feature, that feature that asks a caller, an unknown caller, the reason for calling. This is how to turn it on and off. That's it. Now, some bit of important information. It will interest you to know that while this feature is available to all supported iOS 26, devices. The feature is language-based and is tied to the languages that it supports. So its functionality is limited to specific regions where its supported languages are spoken. For example, English. It's supported in English, but for now only in countries like the United States, Australia, Canada, India, Ireland, New Zealand, Puerto Rico, Singapore, South Africa, and the United Kingdom. If you're not in any of these countries, you will not be able to use this feature in English. If you want to use it in French, it's supported in Canada and France. If you want to use it in German, it's supported in Germany. If you want to use it in Japanese, it's supported in Japan. If you want to use it in Korean, it is supported in Korea. If you want to use it in Mandarin Chinese, it's supported in mainland China, Macau, and Taiwan. If you want to use it in Spanish, it's supported in Mexico, Spain, 
and the United States. If you want to use it in Portuguese, it's supported in Brazil. And lastly, if you want to use it in Cantonese, it's supported in mainland China, Hong Kong, and Macau. Now, here is where it gets tricky. You have to change both the language and the region of your phone. Let me show you how to do that. In your settings app, type language. And here you see language and region, right? Select that. And then you have to select the specific country and then you, speci you specify the corresponding language up here. The region, the specific country or region, the corresponding language up here. And the languages must match. So for example, if you select French in the United Kingdom, this feature will not work because the French language is not supported in the United Kingdom for it. If you select the United States and you select English, it will work. If you select the United States and then select Cantonese or, or, or some other unsupported language in the United States, it won't work. So you have to match the region with the language for it to work. All you have to look for in the settings app is the language and region section, and you can take care of that. I have tried it matching different countries an unsupported country with a supported language, it didn't work. A supported country with an unsupported language, it didn't work. That's all you need to know. Those are the two things, how to turn it off, how to turn it on. This new iPhone call screening feature in iOS 26 is nifty. Try it out and let me know how it goes. How well does it work? We'll see over time when iOS 26 rolls out to supported smartphones on the 15th of September, or when you buy your iPhone Air or iPhone 17 device. Thank you for watching this video. Please do like it, follow my channel, turn on your notifications. I love to have you here and do leave me a comment below. I love to hear from you.